This video is not financial advice. I am not a financial planner. I'm an entertainer. I'm the one, the only, a father in the house, baby. Wow! Okay, so this is part two. Okay, proof that the A Father's plan is going to work. Take us well over $100,000. We're going to Pluto, but only with the A Father's plan. Your plan, sorry to break it to you, it's not going to work. You got to watch the first video. I explained all of that. Now we're going to talk about how we're going to win. Okay, the idea to win is that Citadel's got to cover their positions, right? Okay, sounds logical, sounds easy, but it's not. Because here's another thing that could happen. Citadel could cover their positions at their leisure. At their leisure. You know, and another thing that doesn't help us are these idiot swing traders. And, and like, that's why I always get mad at Teddy Zaid. He does, the guy is, I mean, I, I don't want to be rude, but sometimes I don't think his brain is working right. He's talking about we're going to 5,000 a share, 10,000 a share. Don't you understand that every time you sell, swing trading is a form of selling. Day trading is a form of selling because you have to sell and buy back in. Sell and buy back in. It's rapid selling. <laughs> okay. And when you're doing this, you're helping Citadel cover at low, tiny, microscopic prices, like 40 something dollars a share. I mean, it's just, I don't know what's wrong with me. You know, they're not in it for lifetime wealth. They're not in it for life changing wealth and generational wealth. They're ready to make a couple of hundred bucks. You'll get maybe whatever, 10 shares, 20 shares. They're idiots. These are what's called low IQ morons that are not looking at the big picture of life changing generational wealth, millions and millions of dollars. They're thinking of like, oh, I want to make 300 bucks, $500. That's what they're thinking. I want to pick up another 10 shares, 20 shares. That's real smart. Real smart. Yeah. Real dumb, that's what it is. Okay, but anyway, so one possibility is Citadel could cover at their leisure with all these swing traders and all these day traders helping them out, <laughs> right? And they could just take small little blocks at a time and cover. And you might see these little rises, you know, from time to time. Like you might see AMC jump up to 50 or jump up to 60. And we're thinking it's us, right? We're thinking it's the, uh, the apes. It's them, they're covering, they're covering a little bit at a time, okay? And then you know what they do? After they cover, they'll do it all again. They, 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 listen, they can print unlimited naked shorts if they don't get caught. If they don't get caught, it's an unlimited, unlimited, infinite amount they could do. Infinite. Okay, so they can just, they'll bring us up to 50, they'll bring us back down to 40, right? We might touch in the 60s, they'll bring us down to the 50s. Then they'll bring us down to the 40s. In other words, it's like a, like a metronome. Ding dong, ding dong. You can keep this going all day long. So here is the idea. We got to get Ken Griffin and Citadel caught with their pants down. You look at the way Bernie Madoff got caught. Remember Bernie Madoff? Okay, okay. It was, a, you know, once the, the market started to crash, everything started to go haywire. The banks were all finished. They were about to go under. If the government didn't step in, it would have been the end of the world. It would have been the end of the finance, <clears throat> excuse me, the financial system, right? So <clears throat> once it got to the point where the market was uh, in this chaotic frenzy, Okay, Bernie Madoff couldn't lie no more, right? He had to come clean. He couldn't tell people, oh, I'm still showing all my investors 10, 15% annually when everybody's losing their houses, their jobs. It's like the it's like the, the Great Depression, right? So he had to come clean because all their investors ran to Bernie Madoff and like, I want my money now. I want, give me my money, Bernie Madoff. And he's like, no, we're fine. I'm showing you steady percentages. They're like, you're not so showing me steady percentages. The market is crashing. Give me my money now. See, that's kind of what we need to do to Citadel. We need to put so much pressure on them. You know, a market crash might actually help AMC, okay? Because that's another way we could win. Because if every other stock is going down and AMC is either staying steady and going up, that might make it, you know, all the investors say, you know what? Let's jump into uh, AMC, baby, because they can't remember something. Citadel could only manipulate to a certain level 
where where it doesn't look too suspicious. You understand? They can't just manipulate us down to like $5 a share. So that's what they're doing. They're keeping it at like this level where it's under the radar. It's off the radar. You follow me? So if there was a market crash, that would be Citadel's worst nightmare because they can't manipulate us down. Like if all the stocks were plummeting, they can't make us plummet too. So that, that would be a very good thing, I believe, for AMC. But here's another thing. If we could get all of America talking about the corruption, talking about what's happening. There could be, we could cause a lot of outrage. Don't you understand? We could cause a lot of anger because you know what? It's, we have to prove to this country that Wall Street is not fair. Okay, we have to prove to our great country. And by the way, happy Labor Day to everybody. Happy Labor Day weekend. I'm sorry I didn't mention that before. Seriously, I mean, I am the biggest patriot. I always pray every night. I want you to know I pray for my family and I pray for all active military. I pray, I pray for our vets. God bless them for all their sacrifices. God bless the United States of America. Greatest country in the world, okay? I, I love my country. I love my, my ape family. But, but moving forward, we need to catch, you know, God bless America. Let's just take a second for all the active military and vets. God bless you all. We need to get Ken Griffin's pants down. I know that sounds funny, but we need to catch him with his pants down. So what the ape father is suggesting Okay, is to cause so much awareness, get everybody talking because a lot of people, you're not understanding this. I keep saying it to you. Citadel is playing like the quiet, you know, the, the movie, like the quiet place. It's the quiet place for them. It's all no one knows what's going on. Majority of like, the United States of America, majority of even people who are investors are people who are not investors, business owners, you know, regular nine, you know, nine to five workers people who are retired, the majority of the 350 Americans in our country are not aware of how corrupt Wall Street is, how corrupt a marketplace that, that, that we're all in. They don't know. Okay. So what does the ape father want to do? I want to let everyone know this. I want to cause outrage. I want to cause anger to the point where people are going to say, you know, I don't even want to invest in the stock market anymore. With all this corruption going on, the SEC is not doing their job. And then, and Gary Gensler, what is he doing? He's got his feet up on his desk, uh, you know, sipping his cappuccino. He's, he's not taking nothing seriously. There's no urgency. There's no priority. I want to put so much pressure on the SEC and Gary Gensler and the DTCC and everybody. I want to put so much pressure on FINRA. I want them all to get so nervous that they're about to, everyone's about to lose faith in the United States of America stock market. They will be forced to take action. Now, when they take action, are you ready? That's when Ken Griffin is going to have to come clean. And they're going to see all of the illegal tactics that this guy's been doing. They're going to see all the illegal tactics Citadel's been doing. And then we Moaz. We Moaz like you have never seen before. The Moaz will be beautiful. It'll be like fireworks in the sky. All of our dreams will come true. And then you're all going to have to thank the Eightfold. <laughs> you know, like in, remember in, in uh, Rocky Three. Remember after uh, after uh, Apollo, you know, he trained Rocky to beat Mr. T. What did he say at the end of the movie? He goes, you owe me a favor, right? Okay, so you're going to owe me a little favor. Uh, not much. Buy me a drink. The ain't followed me. That's my favor, right? Me, we'll, all go to a, we'll all go to party in Manhattan together. All right, I'll, I'll make you a porterhouse steak and you give me a shot of tequila or something. Listen. I love all of you. I just want the best. You're all unsubscribing. I lost 150 subscribers in the last day because of the game. Can you believe this? I know they're all weak coconut delusional apes. They're not the strong apes that are staying with me, that love me. Okay? But let's, just listen to me. Keep doing what you're doing. I'm not telling you to stop. Keep buying. Keep holding. But do it on fidelity. Get out of Robinhood. Make that your first priority. Get out of Robinhood. Get out of TD Ameritrade. Get out of E-Trade. Get out of Webull. Get in Fidelity. And yes, listen, once you're in Fidelity, buying is great because it's going directly to the New York Stock Exchange. It will directly bring AMC's price up. I'm 100% for that. I'm doing that. I'm with you buying, but I'm on Fidelity now. And I'm going to show you. It should be going through this week. The A-Father will do a video showing my portfolio on Fidelity. Okay? But just trust in the A-Father. Building awareness is smart. It's going to help the Moaz. We're going to get Ken Griffin with his pants down. We're going to kick him in his ass, baby. We're going to win. We're going to Pluto. That is my mission, to take you to Pluto. And again, I repeat, it will be a peaceful protest. I give you my word of honor, all right? I personally, I will personally be so pissed off if I see one or two apes 
that act like idiots. I'll pro- the cops won't have to get involved. I'll get involved. I'll kick them in their asses. I'm like, don't embarrass the ape family. Do not embarrass the ape father. We will be very professional. Very, very professional. We just want to create awareness. That's all we want because awareness, okay, equals Moes. Thank you. Happy Labor Day to all of you, by the way. I love all of you.